What up, everyone? I'm back. I kind of had to put a hiatus on making what few videos I do, and... Oh yeah, and a fucking hurricane ripped through my state. Florida is the penis of America, and it was time for a gonorrhea specimen collection swab to just come right up and... Ugh. But... I've been buying a few more NES games, and now I'm gonna just play all of them in a row. And this is the, gonna be the first played this on an actual NES since I was a kid. I tried it again on emulators a few times, but mostly... <sighs> yeah. Oh yeah, I don't have... I don't... I need to find the thing to do the bowling balls and fucking bees. Not the bees! Not the bees! Wasn't that a quote in like a... Oh, what's his face? A Nicolas Cage movie? Oh shit, the invisible window. A uh, guy in a sure and fucking hula girl. I'm not doing too bad. Uh, there's the bowling ball and I can't reach it and I just kind of brush against the side of the... Fuck. <sighs> yeah, I remember running this game and think, wondering, why am I doing so bad? I mean, I mean, come on, come on. I, uh... I was thinking back then, my naive little ass was thinking, ugh. Ah, oh, I must be doing something wrong. I mean, they wouldn't be make a game purposely so bad, right? Or they wouldn't be so incompetent that the game would just be ass because of negligence and shit. But, no. You know, that's one good thing about stuff like Angry Video Game Nerd. I mean, he and other reviewers online, they let us know, no, it's not you, it's the fucking incompetent game designers, or the publishers in LGNK. Who, who just wouldn't give them the time or the resources, the the companies they contracted to make their games for them. Ugh. So yes, for that, AVGN, thank you so much. Because I was thinking, this is supposed to be a cool game, right? I mean, it's based on a cool movie, and it's got this... this oh, I still have the thing! Ugh, eat that potbelly guy in a pink shirt. The fucking Wolverine haircut. And the bees got me. Marty must be fucking allergic, or whatever this na his name is. I know he's played by Michael J. Fox, but I can never really remember the name of the character, because, to be perfectly honest, I never really gave two shits about Back to the Future. I never f found the movies all that impressive. Ooh, he's 500 for the B. That reminds me, I remember seeing something, like a news article, about how this reboot of Maya the Bee for Netflix was pulled because there was a phallic image just snuck in. Kind of reminds me of, like, the VHS cover for, for what's it, Little Mermaid. The uh, animator or, like, artist knew he was going to be fired, so he snuck in a drew a penis on the cover for Little Mermaid, just cleverly hit it, and when they... F and when it was discovered, all holy hell broke loose. Do I still got the thing? Yes. Fucking bowling balls. Because everyone knows bowling balls are easy to transport and use as weapons. And th that's the, f the little, like, popsicle stick thing that's a fucking skateboard and we don't need that shit. Ah, oh, almost had Ah! Oh! Fucking zigzag around my bowling ball. I can't believe I thought that was a catchy tune as a kid. I was one dumb kid. Well, to my credit, I was smart enough to rent this only once and never play it again, and only... How much did I pay for this? Oh, like seven bucks on eBay or something. I mean, it cost ten bucks or more at a flea market, so when I found a cheap price, it's like, okay, now I'll get it, because it's not worth that much. But some LGN games can be pretty pricey, believe it or not. I've seen X-Men go for, like, 20 bucks. Yes. Fucking Uncanny X-Men. By LJN. For, for $20. I guess it's great for parties when you want a really obtuse drinking game. It's like... <laughs> Alright. How am I doing? I've only been playing for about, like, what, four and a half minutes? First time playing this in ages, and for the first time using an actual NES controller, I'm not doing too bad. Oh, I hit one and both of them vanish, because, of course, they avoid the popsicle stick. The popsicle stick is bad, and so are fucking killer bees and shit. <sighs> People who 
around my age, you remember, like, going to the video store, it's like, picking out a game. Of course, you always dread it, it turned out to be ass, and this is one time it was just, like, an ass's ass. And, ugh, why can't he jump over the damn bench? What's the point of having a jump if... Okay, I don't want to go all AVGN, I mean, this was one of his first games that he torched, right? And recently he went after Treasure Master. I only remember that game because Make 21 just ripped into it once and... Not the bees! Not the bees! Alright. Okay, now it's the fucking milk... We line up the shots easily and... You gotta destroy 50 of them and his fucking... Clones just come at you fast and fucking furious. Can I move? And yeah, that was a perfect reenactment of the first time I got to this part. Kiss my ass. Ugh. Okay, at least it doesn't throw you all the way back to the bidding. Like that fucking Area 6 at Ninja Gaiden. Remember that? That's when I fucking rage quit that game. I've only beaten it because of using states... Fucking emulator save states. I mean, to preserve my sanity, I, I had to. I had to. I mean, going all the way back to the beginning... Oh! Oh, now I'm really sucking ass. How did I think that was catchy when I was a kid? Ugh. And how could I honestly have thought that it wasn't my f I was at fault and not the fucking game developers when I was a kid? Why was I sticking up for this game? It's been, I, like I said, I didn't really care for the Back to the Future movies anyway. I mean, it, this is probably one of the few 80s franchises that they haven't bothered to reboot, and you know what? I'm grateful. And speaking of rebooting shit that originated in the 80s, well, the next NES game I'm gonna be tossing at ya. What the hell was that? See, how do you line up the goddamn sh Maybe... Maybe you use the stools as a guide. Yeah, that's how you do it! All this time I never knew that! Wow! I learned something new about an old shitty game! Yay! And now my ass is out the door! <sighs> oh well. You know, that's gonna be it. I mean, eight and a half minutes of that shit is enough. Well, that's Back to the Future for the NES. A testament to why LJN, it's, they're kind of kind of known as laughing, joking, numb nuts, if you know what I mean. <sighs> See you next week with, an, believe it or not, another LJN game. Whoopee.